Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some more champions. Uh, in this video, we're going to be taking up two champions. One is going to be going right to rank four, and the other one is a seven star going to rank three, and that will be my first rank three seven star. Now, there's not a whole lot of mystery about it if you actually watched my Necropolis run or watched my uh, Necropolis completion rewards opening. You'll already know who that is. Um, and the first one, you might be able to guess because it's also a recent acquisition. All right. Um, but if you think you can guess these champions, not a whole lot of guessing to be had, uh, leave a comment below and let me know who you think I'm gonna be taking up. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one, Maestro. So that wasn't too hard, was it? So what I've heard about Maestro is that he's not really that good on offense, but he is a nightmare on defense, especially in the battlegrounds. So of course I was gonna take him up to rank four. Now, if you watched my last mystery rank up theater, I was talking about um, Cosmic Ghost Rider and Hyperion and I was mad because for one thing, once I got the Cosmics, I did not, remember that maestro was a cosmic i kept thinking because he's hulk right i kept thinking science and i forgot he was cosmic and so when i saw that i was like oh because i was about to use the um last rank up gem that i had the last cosmic three to four gem I was going to use that on a different cosmic. And when I realized that he was a, a cosmic, I said, oh, are we taking him up? Now, my plans for him, I don't know um, if they'll use him because I think we already have a maestro on defense in Alliance War. But what I'm planning to do with him is he's going in my uh, deck for Battlegrounds. And he's at least going to be uh, a threat, and they'll probably want to ban him. Now, you see the resources I have right here? I still have a 2-3 to three rank up gem. Now, the reason that I'm not going to use it is because I have so many of those T2 alphas in the overflow, and I get T5 uh, catalysts quite regularly. So... I'm going to save that two to three for someone who I do not have the resources to take up to a three. Then I'll use that. Uh, but for now, we're going to save that. You know, I might get a champion I really like, and I've just finished using up all the resources to rank up somebody else. Then I'll use that one uh, to rank them up. Uh, but anyway, I see myself using this guy in the battlegrounds. I'll have him on my team. People will, of course, want to ban him, which is perfectly fine because they ban him. They can't ban uh, somebody else, you know. Uh, so he's going in my deck for sure. Uh, usually, I ban him when I see him uh, in my opponent's deck. So... He's going to be a, a definite threat, and I don't see myself uh, trying to use him on offense, but you never know. Uh, I don't know all that much about him other than he is a nightmare on defense. That's really all I know about him. And I was excited. This is what Kabam did to get me to do the Necropolis. This guy right here. Not only was he a collector, you know, uh, item, but he's Hulk. You guys know I love Hulk, right? 
Hulk is my absolute favorite uh, comic book character, hands down, from Mo Marvel. And we have some Hulks in the game. Now, I'm definitely a big fan of OG Hulk, even before his rework, even though I didn't use him because they really messed him up. But now that they reworked him, he's actually the Hulk that I love. Um, you also have, uh, who is it? Um, um, Hulk Ragnarok. He's good in some situations, but I had to get him too. And I did rank him up. Um, trying to remember who's the other one. Um, Joe fix it. That's the, uh, another Hulk. I didn't even know when I was coming in. That's why I had a hard time remembering. I didn't know Joe fix it was Hulk, you know, uh, until I started playing this game and somebody mentioned that we had several Hulks in the game and I was like, what Hulk we got? You know, I knew of OG Hulk, you know, red Hulk, but that's not Bruce Banner. Um, you know, we had She-Hulk, all of that, but I was looking for the Bruce Banner Hulks. And when I saw the list and it included Joe Fixit, I said, Joe Fixit's a Hulk? And I was like, well, that makes sense. He does look like a Hulk, but I just thought he was maybe um, a clone or something. I didn't realize he was an alternate, uh, alternate reality Hulk or whatever. It just, he looked uh, in that suit and everything. I, I, that just kind of... Uh, floored me. Uh, but anyway, um, had to get Maestro. He's another Hulk. If they come out with another Hulk, I got to get that Hulk too. All right. Now, we took uh, Maestro up to rank four. Now is the time that we're going to take up my first seven star rank three. This shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that has followed my Necropolis run and knows who I got. All right, but I am about to reveal it in a moment, in a moment. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. There, there she is. America Chavez or Chavez. I don't know which way I've, um, you know, I grew up with a lot of Hispanics and they pronounce things differently depending on uh, where they are from. So it's either Chavez or Chavez. Um, I, I really don't know where the accent lies. I, I probably need to listen to somebody say her name properly, uh, to see how you pronounce her name. Cause I had a friend who spelled exactly the same and we called her Chavez, you know, or Chavez. She didn't mind either way. Um, but anyway, uh, America Chavez is a, a funny one. Because when she first came out, people did not really, you know, care for her. They were like, ah, she's all right. But we weren't really trying to hear that, honestly. She was kind of mid. And a lot of people did say all she needed was a little bit of tweaking and she would be good. Okay. And then they did just that. They tweaked her. It was so funny because we had people who had taken a break, you know, they went away from the game for a little bit and they came back and suddenly she was good. And they were like, wait a minute, she's good now? We were like, yes, she's good now. And they're like, wow. That's another thing that I do like about this game. You know, it has its issues. Some big issues that, you know, I'm hoping they'll resolve at some point in time. But one of the things that I really do like about the game is the dynamic nature of it. You know, you got champions and even the champions that are not good today might be good later on because they have that program of rebalancing. So I'm definitely loving that. And there we go. See that? Two to three. Mystic. 1.2 million goal. And we're going to do it. And welcome, my first rank three. She does make it into my top uh, champs on my profile. And she did raise my prestige just a little bit. Um, 
Now, I don't mind. Uh, she doesn't need to be awakened, by the way. But her awakening, I would not mind. Um, it would definitely up the prestige a little bit more. But I'm perfectly fine with taking her up unawakened. And if I awaken her, beautiful. I would absolutely love that. Okay. So that's one champion that was in my most wanted. Um, now we have Juggernaut. We've got Hulk. And we've got Shuri. And I'll be opening up seven stars uh, next week uh, when we get the Road to the Crypt or whatever rewards. I'll be able to open up a Titan Crystal. So definitely uh, tune in then because I'll open it up like that same day. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Uh, take care. And you all have a blessed day.